Right, it's time for a homebrew review, and it's going to be Darren or Ham of Homebrews American IPA. Um, the cap's already off because I thought I was filming, and it's not out the bottle yet though, so. I'm obviously not going to fit all this in there. That's the only downfall of this uh, this glass, unfortunately, is obviously it's made for the kind of the free 30ml, which I do seem to get a lot of, but I'm going to crack a bit into here anyway, just because I think it will work. Uh, display it a bit better. I believe this is the, the newest version of Hammerphone Brews American IPA. The last one I had was fantastic. I know there was quite a few hops that went in it. I can't remember the exact types and whatnot that went in it but Right, it looks a lot darker on the camera, the lighting ain't great, I have to admit still, but it looks a lot lighter in colour at my end, so nice two finger head. Mmm, getting a lot of hops on the front on that. I can't remember what he exactly said, but instantly I would say there's possibly Amarillo or Citra in there, definitely, there's a lot of a lot of fruitiness going on in there. There might even be a little bit of Columbus in there, but let's give it a taste. Mmm. That's very good. It's a lot. Hmm. I have to uh find out what percent that is. It's a lot smoother than the um, than the last one I remember. Um, not in a bad way in the sense that this would be a compliment here. Um, well for me anyway because I love Colonel beers. It reminds me of like one of the Colonel beers, the IPAs, because they kind of make a good IPA, throw a ton of hops in it, but kind of you know, disguise the fact that it could be 7.2 or 6.5, you know, make it taste almost a lot lighter beer, but have, you know, tons of flavour in it. And that's what's coming across on this. You kind of, there's not a, for me, a massive amount of bitterness in this, considering the hops that have probably gone into it, but you're getting a real nice upfront fruitiness without too much harshness on the end. Very tropical. It's got to have Amarillo in it, definitely. Right amount of carbonation. Mm. I'm not sure if it's the glass or the beer, but. It's kind of one of the fruitiest IPAs I've had for a while. Very easy drinking. I think I might take it easy before uh, checking with uh, Ham Fine Brew exactly what percentage that is before I'm on the floor. But excellent. I can't. I can't fault that. Excellent body. Excellent mouthfeel. That, but kind of a little bit a little bit peachy as well on the nose. Oh, that was very nice. For me, quite different from the last one that I had from Amophone Brew in a very good way, but I'm impressed by the uh, the smoothness of it. Very, very nice. Top marks. I can't, I can't down it. Excellent. Till next time. Cheers.